Hello guys and welcome to our discussion of ways to train skills without actually training them properly. I and I was the one that came up with this idea by the way. Just before you all give Tom the credit, it was me. It was my idea. I know what yes. it's like and he's going to steal my idea from me and that is racism. Who's the one who records, edits, and uploads the content? Right, anyway. Who's the so, one who comes up with a brilliant idea so that you can record, edit, and upload the content? So the first thing that we're going to cover is... I'm just that, saying, man. I'm just saying. Just saying. All right? Do you, want, do you want to stop interrupting? No. The first thing that we're going to discuss is the Jack of Trades aura, which is for members only... It costs 15,000 loyalty points, and you can use it once every 24 hours. What it does is it gives you free XP in any skill of your choice after training 10 different (coughs) skills. (coughs) After training 10 different skills uh, within three hours of activating the aura. Which takes about a minute to do. Yeah. The best way that we've found to do this, to train 10 skills very quickly, is to go to Varrock Center, pickpocket a guard, hit him with a mage spell, and then a controlled attack style. You can use a karate sword special for mage XP, uh, if you've got one. And then once you've killed a guard and pickpocketed him, bury his bones, chop down two logs from trees nearby, fletch one log and burn one log. That should be 10 skills. Right there, it takes about a minute. But if you don't want to get defense XP, you could just let do the attack, the strength, and then go fish or go kill it with range or alk or something. You don't specifically have to do it like that. It's just that takes about a minute to do tops. It's the best way to do it for the average player, you know, who's not necessarily a pure, who doesn't mind getting defense XP. You can't but... say I don't have any defense XP. Just, just put it out there. Indeed. Right, anyways, before you interrupt me, because you keep doing it, and that's really obnoxious. Right, basically, I think this is one of the better updates. It's probably the best aura that you can get. I mean, I know you can get the ones with wings that glow, and they're all, Ooh, you're so pretty! But this one is the... I can't think of the word. Fuck. I always do this. It's the... Most useful? I'm not Worth, the, worthwhile? Not the one I'm going for. Um... I am having a complete mind fuck right. You carry on, I'll think of the word in a minute. Fuck. So once you've trained all these ten skills, what you do is you remove the aura, make sure you've trained ten skills. You can uh, check how many skills you've uh, just trained. Don't, just don't click remove unless you've got all ten, because I did that. And then I have yes. to wait 24 hours to redo it. Which so what, once you've done all ten skills... Remove the aura and talk to a guy called Schwan or Juan in Varrock Square. He is the uh, members' loyalty shop owner. I'm in Varrock. I go have a look. And, his name is. And he will give you an XP book, which will give you a varying amount of XP depending on what your level is in the skill that you choose. Uh, just to give you an idea of how much XP it gives, um, I'm level 66. Eight summoning, and it gives me about 4.5k XP in that. So use that as a guide. Obviously, the I'm level, level 57 summoning, and I got 3,235 XP. Just to clarify, I'm sure there'll be something with a calculator for it on the internet. Someone will have figured it out by now. Yeah, there is a calculator if you just Google uh, Jack of Trades calculator. You know, it'll be easy to find. So I think that's it for the Jack of Trades. Let's move on to Troll Invasion. Ooh, I like this one. This is one of the best updates Jagex has put in their game recently, and they are putting a lot of shit updates recently. It's great because when you're doing it, you get an XP. Even if you don't train combat or you don't want to train combat, you can still get XP in other skills, which actually gives you... More XP in the end if you do the skill in one than the combat one, because you actually technically kill more trolls, even though you don't kill any trolls. Hell yeah. You kill them by contributing in other means. You kill them by being a pussy, and that's that. Anyways, you you can do this every month. Um, You get an amazing chunk of XP at the end. 
And if you have got trolls for a Slayer task, it's a very, 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 very quick way to do it. Because I tried doing trolls, like, legitly for Slayer, and I was just, it took me ages to do. It took me about and a half an hour to get about 100 kills, and I just, I did this with the claws, and it took me a, no time at all to just complete 150 trolls, because you've got constant health regeneration special. Plus, you can do it but without getting the XP boost at the end all the time, so you can do that for practice for a Slayer task or for free XP. It is actually a pretty good way to train if you've got Dragon Claws or something. Yeah. You, can just, you can just keep regenerating all your health, all your prayer, all your special attack, and just make sure you do it on easy, though, because obviously you'll get more monsters to fight and there'll be more... Uh, newbie. There'll be more of them and the newbie. And the else. Oh, but... I would definitely recommend, if you haven't done it before, watching a guide or looking up how to do it, because you don't want to end up going in there your first time, dying on wave one, which is probably impossible, and then just being there like, oh, well, I got about 4k XP, whereas you can get like 50 plus k XP in skills if they're high enough. Yeah, you don't want to ruin your first time each month, so... (laughs) Like James ruined mine, but that's a, a story for a different day. Next topic is penguins. I personally hate this. I never do it. Yeah, I uh, never do it either. I do. I, if I see a penguin, I'll spy on it, but I won't go out of my way most of the time to just run around after bloody penguins dressed up as cactuses. I mean, whatever employee at Jagex was sat there thinking, guys, let's dress penguins up as cardboard boxes, cactuses, and, you know, must have been on acid. That's the only but, logical explanation. Don't interrupt me, Tom. I'm talking. No, go on. I, I was done. All right, then. All right, you can do these every week, and they reset every Tuesday or Wednesday. One of the two. I don't know which. I'm not the... It's Wednesday. ...informative one here. It could be it's... Tuesday if you're in America or Australia, even though that would be the day before. Shut up, Tom. Wednesday GMT, use that guideline to figure out where it'll reset in your time. So yeah, And um, they can be good because you can save up all of the points that you've got so you can get a massive chunk of XP. There is 10 points every week and you can do the polar bear if you've done the Cold War quest. It's the hunt for uh, red something. Cold War quest. And... Um, you can get cash instead of XP, but that would be such a waste of time because sometimes it's just it takes you 20 minutes and you're just there like, oh, this was easy. And sometimes you're running around World 60 just going, where the fuck are the penguins? Then you've got an entire clan chat of people go, where's this penguin? Oh, and it gets really annoying. It's one thing we forgot to mention. World 60, penguins. It has its own website and its own clan chat. No, we're not promoting them. We're just saying... It's a very, very easy way to get them because you've got people constantly updating the penguins and because the clan check keeps all the penguins trapped somewhere so everyone can go and get them quite easily. And <laughs> if that's not enough, then you can always go to zybez.net, which is an awesome fan site, and that posts the location, the rough locations of the penguins on World 60 each week on Wednesdays, so look out for that. That is, penguins are actually really good XP to say what you actually have to do for them, in my opinion. I just think, if they didn't make them such a pain in the ass to find sometimes, it'd be so much better. Yeah, I I definitely agree with that, because I can never be bothered to do it, even though it's the easiest XP in the world, and it really doesn't take long either, I just hate doing it, so... <laughs> anyway, the next thing on the list, which you will explain, because I don't know that much about it, it's the circus, or the... Something big top bonanza. I I don't really pay attention to the game. I I'm <laughs> small attention span in that. But yeah, you can do this once a week, and basically you can get XP for free in range, magic, and agility, which could be really helpful because magic and range can be quite expensive, and agility is boring. So all you do, you go, you find it, you can talk to the fairies. Although they have this option where you will automatically say to them, "Can you take me there?" and they'll say. No, I don't know why that's still in the game, because they can't take you there. They could just tell you where it is and send you on your way, or put something down on your world map, or something helpful, but they're not they're not helpful whatsoever. But you go in, and if you do one from each level, because it's like level 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 
80, 90, 99. So if you do one from each level, you get a different amount of XP. Obviously, if you've not got 99, you may be able to do it, but you've got less chance of doing it than if you did have 99 in one of the skills. And if you have 99 agility, you have no life. But also, you can get like nice little bits of costume by doing... If you do emotes, like different emotes throughout the entire performance you're doing, you should get more points, and you can get the nice sexy ringmaster costume, which does look really good. This is performances you're on about, which I think you forgot to mention. You just said you just referred to it as it, so just ah. clarifying that. Sorry, apologies. <laughs> but yeah, you get XP for each performance level, and it'll say what each level required is to uh, successfully do it every time. And by the way, before because this always used to take me forever to figure out a few years ago when I started doing the circus. Click right, click on your ticket and tick tear to leave because I I have spent a good hour or two running around the circus thinking that I've been trapped in there. Yeah, right, click on the ticket, click tear. <laughs> I did exactly the same thing first time. <laughs> it, it, it don't make it obvious. But it's just it's a nice little update. I mean, it doesn't require any effort to do, but it, that is the it's just just so many pointless features about it. Plus, some of the costumes just look like dirt. But the, the Ringmaster one does look really nice. That's the one I think I'm wearing on the introduction, the hat and the top, because 99 range, you know. Well, the the acrobat suit goes, um, not suit, the acrobat costume goes quite well with woodcutting cape, which I have, because I'm a nerd, so. But it looks ugly as hell. Well, opinions. Anyway. My they, opinion's uh, right. Yeah, you keep you keep telling yourself that. So the last thing we're going to talk about is the Tears of Guthix. This obviously requires the Tears of Guthix quest to be completed. You can look up the requirements for that elsewhere. Uh, you can only do this once a week, but it is really cool. Um, you can only do it once a week if you either get 100,000 experience in total or get a single quest point. So it's kind of... Get Throughout the whole week. Yeah, you, so you've got an entire week to do it. If you're a pure with, like, one defense, don't do it, because it trains your lowest stat, so there's no point in doing it, because you're just going to get two defense and then be like, Meh! They told me to do it, and now my account is ruined. This is only for people who are like me, who only play the mains and hate runecrafting, and it's the lowest level, so... It's... Uh, I like doing it, but at the same time, while I'm actually doing it, I, I hate it because it always trolls me. Because what you have to do is you have to collect the blue tiers to collect more points. Like the, There's tiers streaming down the walls and you have to collect the blue ones to get more XP. But avoid the green ones at the same time and the colours change at certain intervals. Just and... in case none of you have been runecrafting before, he is on about the tiers of Guthix minigame, not runecrafting, don't worry. Yeah, that's what that's what we're talking about. And I know, but you never said that you were talking about it. I was explaining the mini game, the Tears of Gothic thing, and I was interrupting you to give our brilliant viewers a better insight to what you're on about. Cause you never actually explained it. You just said, I "Don't mind runecrafting. I just get really bored, and it always trolls me. And you made no sense. And I'm just saying, big meme. And the game hates Tom." Ma'am, James is picking on me. Okay, she's not actually here. I just... Oh, I, I wish she was here. <laughs> Shush you. <laughs> so, just a few more side notes about Tears of Guthix. It will require a light source to go there without dying. Um, and the more quest points you have, the longer you can stay in the cave to collect tears. Uh, I've got about 299 quest points, I think, which Bloody is hell. quite a lot. I've got I like think. 150. So yeah, I can stay in there quite a while, and I usually get around 150 tiers, which gets me about 8k runecrafting XP at level 66. So that, you can use that as a little guideline as to how much XP you'll get. There will be a calculator somewhere. Yes, there is a calculator elsewhere on on the wonderful world of Google. It's a wonderful tool. So, yeah, I think that's about it for this little discussion. Um, well, um, I was just going to ask you, what do you think the best 
distraction and diversion is on which ones they should improve the most, even though Jack of Trades technically isn't a distraction and diversion, it's an aura. Well, I've got to say, my favourite is actually the Jack of Trades, because it's so quick and easy, and, you know, it's free XP every single day. Gotta love it. And it's actually a decent amount as well. It it really adds up, you know. And what's your favourite? I kind of like Troll Invasion. I think if you have good melee stats and you just borrow clothes from someone, you just get it done in about 20 minutes and you get like 50k chunk of XP in a 90 plus stat. It's just... Oh. The XP reward is really nice, but the fact you can only do it once a month is a it's a little bit of a turn off for me. Yeah, but then again, if you could do it more than once a month, I assure you there'd be at least 25 bots for it. <laughs> well, yeah, there probably would. Yeah. Actually. Maybe like once a fortnight. Yeah. Or if you're know. just for us to just like every time we do it, we should get a nice chunk of XP. Yeah. <laughs> if Jagex ever watched this video, they should just think about that. Just us two. It would great. It would greatly benefit the uh, the whole RuneScape community because we'd be able to make better videos. I'm just saying. I mean, you have to think about this from a marketing point of view. You would make billions. So, you know, just saying. Don't question the logic, just do it. <laughs> you, should, you should also give us lots and lots of RuneScape monies, because we're too lazy to make it ourselves. We'd be able to sort of compare all the different armors, like all, yeah. all the barrow set, even though we could probably do that already. Yeah, uh, I think you've got five and I've got one, so <laughs> you've got five different ones and I've got the other one. So yeah, I mean, we should yeah. probably not put this part in the video. Uh, well, I'm going to, because I'm too lazy to edit all this. So. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Fine. Anyways, guys, cheers for watching. If you've lasted this long, then you last longer than Tom does in bed. And I'll see you on the next time. Joke's on you. I've never slept with anyone. Bye.